I understand that you were in a grocery store and you slipped on some grapes that were on the floor and hurt yourself about five months ago. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And have you had any treatment or have you, what have you done? I have went to the doctor on my own and I'm still going to the doctor. I did okay. an incident report in the store. The manager said he'll get back in contact with me, but he's never done. Okay. And I'm trying to go ahead on and see what he's going to do before I can leave the ice. Okay, so it's been about five months since all this happened. She filed an incident report, I understand. What does she need to do now? No, apparently nothing has happened. Right. Well, what you need to know about these slip and fall cases is just because you slipped at their store doesn't mean that they're responsible for the fall. Mm. What you have to prove in these cases is that the, the store had notice that the grape was, like, they had actual notice that the grape was there or that they had constructive notice that the grape was there. Mm -hmm. Meaning that either they had to have actually known it was there or it was there for such a period of time that they should have known that it was there. If you can prove that, then you can you can put them on the hook for your damages. Um, some of the things that you look for to determine whether or not they should have known that the grape was there is, you know, you look to see if the grape had been stepped on, um, if it had been mashed up and spread out all over, over a, a big area. In a situation like that, you would think that somebody from the store would have walked by and seen it. And if that's the case, you can certainly bring a, a, a slip and fall claim against them. It sounds like she's done everything mm -hmm. that she should do. She made an instant report. It sounds like right. she's been getting some medical treatment. Um, hopefully th there could be video of the fall. Um, you know, it's always a good idea to, whenever we get these cases, we send out a letter immediately and have the store put them on notice that we're going to want any video that might show the fall occurring. Obviously, if you've got the video, then you have direct evidence of the fall happening and you don't have to, you don't have to count on the person remembering exactly what happened from five months ago or a year ago or however long it, it happened. Right, and the ago. store can't refuse to re release that, right? Well, I'll tell you what happens a lot of times okay. is, you know, we will ask for the video and either the store has destroyed it because they just oh. didn't realize that somebody was going to make a claim. But in this case, there was an incident report made, so they should have saved it. Or I've actually seen sometimes where the, the store will, the manager will say, well, I looked at the video and it didn't show anything, so I went ahead and destroyed it. At that point, it's you say to them, well, I would have liked to review it before mm -hmm. you destroyed it. So. It is always a good but idea. But there's to nothing to criminal video. for the store to destroy the tape, is it? That's it's not. It's not criminal, but there are some ramifications that could create. Um, <laughs> could you know, cause them some problems in court. It could create create some presumptions of negligence on the part of the store if the video has been destroyed.